it's T with T Quilts, and today is Saturday, June 13th, 2020. It is 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm trying to, hold on, let me see if I can do it with my other hand. Zoom this camera back a little bit so you can see my work area. I got to put you in position. Hold on, going for a ride. <laughs> Hey everybody. Okay. All right, let me pull you all up on this phone. So I can chat with you all. Let's see. We got people popping fireworks outside. you all it's 9 1 p.m thank you all so much for coming today i got my camera switched to the other side so i gotta remember that <laughs> um we got at 8 36 wow quick gal was here she says hi t and everyone what a beautiful day in maryland no mask being made nor any quilting either <laughs> my brother is here at 8 37 whoo he says hey sis i'm here and ready hi everyone keep staying safe Vivian Calvi is here. It says hi, T and T Quilter. It's 8.37, 8.39. Quilt Gal saying hi to my brother. Manita Nance at 8.50 saying hi, Miss T and everyone. I set and ready to listen. <laughs> uh, at 8.53, we got Nuria, Loria. She say hola, buenas noches. And I don't know what the DCR is, but welcome, I'm assuming um spanish i don't know from where uh hola not hola hola i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know why i pronounced the h hola that we got shaquita pierce in here she says hi t hi ray hi and everyone going to be working on cleaning my room while i listen that's a good thing to do and i got this camera turned a little bit too much this way um, let's see, we've got Cheryl, no, June Hansen says, hi, T and all, hi, June. Cheryl Klute says, hello, T and everyone, hi, Cheryl. Robin Boyd is here saying hello to everyone and Miss T, got my shirt and love it. Thank you. That was quick. I think I mailed it Thursday. That was pretty quick. Uh, Kimberly Dion says, hello, what kind of machine do you have? Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um... Cheryl says, T, I love the pen and all the cool blocks. That's from Cheryl. Thank you. We're going to talk about um, blocks and stuff next week. Uh, we got Diane57 in here saying, hey, everyone, I made it. Hi, Diane. She's been missing the late one sometimes. Uh, slowing down. Joe is here, says, hello, T, and everyone. Uh, Mary says, howdy, y'all. Nisi Ma's here, says, hey, T, and everybody. Susan T says, hi, T, and everyone. I'm cleaning my sewing room, too, as I listen. Uh, Judy Judy is here, says, hello, T, and quilters. Bonita says, fireworks here, too. Don't know why. Yeah, it's like it's so early, but they've been doing this now, I want to say almost like two weeks or something. And then, like on Wednesday, about 2.30 a.m., somebody decided to fire off a whole pack of firecrackers. Just silly. Uh, Camille Anderson is here, says, hello, T and everyone. I am so happy with the great exchange blocks. Thanks to everyone who took part in the exchange. And a special thanks to T and Kevin. Thank you so much, Camille. That's really nice. Wind Sprinter is here saying hello from Silver Springs, Maryland. Silver Spring, Maryland. Betty Harris says, everyone staying safe. I hope everyone is. Kevin the Quilter is here, says, evening to my friend T and all T quilters. Hi, Kevin. Um, I 
keep forgetting Jada's name. Uh, Earlene. Is it Earlene? Let me know if I'm right. <laughs> hi, T and everyone. Um, people saying hi to Kevin. Uh, have fun with the blocks, Camille from Kevin. Nisa and says, I received my blocks. Thanks to everybody, and special thanks to T and Kevin. You're so welcome. Um, let's see. My screen jumped. Diane Ricks is here. Hi, Diane. She says, hi, T and everyone. Uh, Gramps is here. Says, hi, everyone. I received my shirt. It was like Christmas. That's nice. <laughs> Tiffany's Quilting Life is here. She says, hi, y'all. Um, Lietta Bryan is here. Says, hi, TNT Quilters. Hi, Lietta. Some fireworks with home graduation ceremonies. Oh, I don't know. I know we, um, it could be, but I don't think anybody was up at 2.30 celebrating. But I've been hearing them off and on. I don't know if all of them were associated with a party. Um, and Graham says, I was doing my happy dance. Uh, Lisa Pegg says, hello, T and everyone. Hi, Lisa. Beverly Seaball is here saying hello to all. Claudette Bettis is here, says hi, T and everyone. Hi, Claudette. And, uh, Kevin is saying he hope you have fun with those blocks, Nisima. Um... Yes, yeah, so I was correct. Thank you. Finally got it right. <laughs> uh, she says that she received uh, my blocks today. Thanks to everyone, especially you, T and Kevin. And yes, Earlene is correct. Yes, I was trying to remember. So, what am I doing again? I'm working on Galen Fitzgerald's pineapple blocks because I want to do one in the same style that she does. Um... With her ruler, you got to have her ruler as a minimum. She does have like a DVD and a book that you can also purchase to go with that. I forgot my phone doesn't turn. I turned my phone. It took me out. <laughs> um, um, so I have uh 12 15 blocks <laughs> and today is the 13th so i'm a little bit ahead i'm on schedule and then i'm working on you know how i like to work on them in sets of four so that's what i'm currently doing i don't have anywhere to let me see i don't have like a whole lot of room here <laughs> and so then i can't turn my phone sideways um so what I'm trying to do is work on them in sets of fours because sometimes I'm not able to work on them every day. So if I work on them in sets of four and if I miss a day or two, working on them in sets of four gets me caught back up. That's kind of how I work. Then I started working on sets of four and then when I needed to, I would chain piece on another block. So I've been working on this since I did the last set of four. So it'll just grow as needed. So... This one's a little bit further along than this one, but it only gets one piece every here and there. So, let's see who else came in. We got Janet Mackerel. She says, hi, TNO. Hi, Janet. Oh, Tiffany is eating and some, uh, and so she's not catching the chat as fast, the chat part, but she's listening. Kevin's telling everybody to have fun with these blocks. It's Arlene's turn. <laughs> Cheryl says, I really like the scrappy pineapple. Thank you so much, Cheryl. June says, I like your blocks. Thank you, June. And Nisma says, hey, Kevin, I can't wait to start working on them. So excited. I haven't even thought about how I'm going to put, well, I have thought about it, but I don't know if I'm going to follow through with that yet. Um, while we're doing this, um, I went, I cut my pieces into cut sizes that I need to do, uh, each section. And then I just cut, I, I press a lot of strings at the same time. And then I just take those strings and start cutting them into subsections, the size that I need. I do want to tell you though, with this method, you do have a lot of waste. 
over cutting, you know, with the AccuQuil die. Um, let's see. I got some scraps over there. I'm trying to show you all the stuff I've been trimming off of these blocks. I've been keeping it so I can share it with you all. So I have 15 blocks plus the four or five that I've started. I'm going to get some of this out of here. Look how much I've been trimming off of these blocks. This is all trimmings. I don't have this much waste cutting with the AccuQuilt system. This is a lot. That's a lot. Diane says, are we supposed to be making pineapple blocks? Nope, I'm just participating in a sew along with Guileen Fitzgerald. She's doing one pineapple block a day for the month of June. So at the end, you will end up with 30 blocks as a minimum. Some people are making more. Uh, some people are just making them ahead of time because they know they're not going to be able to uh, sew every day. And then some people have decided that they're only going to make 20 blocks. So it's just what people want to do for the most part. Um, Teresa Louise is here. It says, hi, T. Hi, everyone. Hi. Welcome back. And, um, and Diane says, I don't have that dye. She doesn't have the AccuQuilt pineapple dye. Uh, Kimberly Dion says crumb quilts. Uh, well, those are too little to even cut to use in crumb quilts, but I can do something else with them. Uh, I can make my own fabric by just uh, stitching on them. Just laying them out and then stitching on top. Um, Kevin says, wow, that's a lot of waste. Yes, it is. And like I said, they're so, they're so small. I'll show you some of the pieces as I'm trimming, but they're so small. That you can't even make half square triangles with them. They're gonna be they would be really tiny anyway. You would probably make a one inch half square triangle that finishes at a half inch. Uh, Linda Sikorsky. I probably butchered it. I'm sorry. Uh, she says, Hi all, this is my first time here. Tiffany mentioned you on another YouTube channel the other day, probably Tiffany's quilting life. Uh, thank you so much, Tiffany. And welcome, Lisa, to the channel where my normal night to chat, my regularly scheduled night to chat is Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I've been coming on on Saturdays at 9 p.m. for a couple hours just doing this uh, home quarantine period, self-quarantine period. So welcome. Cheryl says, what system is that with? That is a lot of scraps. This is Guileen Fitzgerald's pineapple ruler. Uh, she calls it from trash to treasures, pineapple blocks. Um, uh, somebody's telling June, happy birthday. Happy birthday, June. I didn't know it was your birthday. I must have missed it. And, and now Diane is eating, okay? <laughs> I ate before. I made myself. I have bought some... Uh, some shrimp, some raw shrimp, and I fried shrimp and french fries. Had a bad meal, but it sure was good. And my bobbin is just about out, too, so we'll be having to replace that. So what I do when I get started on my cutting mat here, whatever size I need next, since I'm working on four blocks and all sides need a piece, I just pull 16 pieces. Sometimes I pull an extra 17th piece. And then as I'm just sewing here, I just pick up a piece. Long as it's not already in the block, it's fair game. And this one I will have to end up trimming. So the next time I need to use it, it'll be ready. But I got pieces on my board right now. So we'll just wait a minute to do that. Just put it up there. So I've had a very busy week. <laughs> A very busy two weeks, shall I say. Last week was mostly dealing with uh, swapping out the blocks. And then this week was uh, from last Saturday through Wednesday. I mailed back all of those blocks to everybody that had participated. And you should, if your block should be coming you should have them already or you should definitely get them by monday because everything was sent priority mail 
I put just a little surprise in everybody's blocks. Uh, in addition to that, I had some people, a lot of t-shirt orders. So my this week was filled making all of my t-shirts. All my orders have gone out. I, and if you ordered a t-shirt and then you also swapped your blocks, if, like I think Vivian was the only one because I had to wait for her order to come in. So I think Vivian was the only one that I couldn't mail at the same time. But I tried to save people postage as well. But I didn't want Vivian since she had sent her blocks in like, she was like number three or four, something high on the list. And I didn't want her to wait to get her blocks back um, when she sent them in early. So, because I know people were really happy about that. You all should have received notification that I have my live next Wednesday. It's going to be talking about block swaps. So, um, I'll be talking about that kind of stuff. Uh, still got people that have never participated in one asking questions. People wanting me to have another one. And I don't know when that's going to be right now. Um, just because... I got some things I got to do. I got a commission quilt. Somebody wants a Mickey Mouse quilt made for, not Mickey, Minnie. They want Minnie quilt made for a new grandbaby. So I need to, I have to go to the store and get fabric. And that's one of those things that I will not buy over on online because you need to make sure that it's the right type of polka dot. Um, there are so many types of polka dots out. I want to make sure I get the right one and they're not going to pull a switcheroo on me. So I need to run to the store to pick that up. Um, let's see. And happy birthday, Kim Kimberly. She says it's her birthday too. Um... Carlene says, thanks, Kevin. I will have fun with my blocks trying to figure out how I'm going to use them in a quilt. Yes. <laughs> That's the main thing, trying to figure out how to use them. Uh, we got 39 blocks. So, I did get notification from one person that I was looking for saying, um that she did send her blocks, but I never received them. So she's trying to track that down with the post office. I went back to my post office and made sure that they weren't holding on to it, and they said they didn't have it. So uh, it appears that somebody's blocks are lost, <laughs> which is really horrible feeling when you've done that much work and you got nothing to show for it. Not even getting your own blocks back. So. It's pretty rough sometimes. Virgie is here. She says hello to T, Diane, Kevin, <laughs> Tiffany, June, Bonita, and everyone. And everyone out there. <laughs> Hello, Virgie. Uh, Regina Connor is here. Hi, Regina. She says, T, thank you uh, for your chats on Saturdays at 7 p.m. Being on the West Coast, I'm missing your live chats. Thanks, T and Kevin. Appreciate the lovely pen. You are so welcome. Um, let's see. Betty Harris, she says, how can I get a t-shirt? <laughs> Beverly, where have you been? The t-shirts um, are on my website, www.tquilts.com, and they were on sale for two weeks. <laughs> you missed the sale. They were 25% off of about four or five different styles that I have. So, 
But you can still order a shirt that's just not on sale anymore. Virgie says priority mail not. What are you talking about? I don't know what Virgie is talking about, priority mail not. Um, June says, thanks for the pen as well as my blocks, T and Kevin. You're so welcome, June. Um, Bonita says, all your fabric stores are open. We got the, uh, we got Jackman's is open. It opened this week and they are requiring masks and then they're limiting the number of people that can be in the store as well. And then on the flip side, Jackman's is a very large store. So even with them limiting, they can still get a few people in there. It's actually very huge. It's it's <laughs> it can be about three times the size of an app some of your fabric, your quilt shop. So it's huge. Um yeah, but I'll just be watching what I do. And then every time when I get back to my car anyway, I use hand sanitizer and stuff like that. I don't um, wear gloves on the inside because if your hands can get contaminated, your gloves can be contaminated too, so it don't really make any difference. So I just go ahead and use hand sanitizer when I get back out. But um, And then we got one another store in Alton, Illinois that has limited hours. Like she's only open from like 10 to 3 or something like that. So, and I don't know what the crowd is, like, they opened this week, but I don't know, um, how it's been, of course, because I haven't been there. I've been busy doing other stuff. Eric Oda is here. Hi, Eric. Carrie Dottie says hi to everyone else. Hi, Carrie. Um... And Diane says, that was a lot of work, too. Yes, it was. Uh, mailing out all those packages and sorting all them blocks. Like I said, we had over 2,000 blocks. So, yeah, it was a lot of work. Uh, I don't know. Kevin, had you ever done swap from the organizing point of having to swap them out like what we did? I'm not sure. But I, I'm very experienced in block swap. So, I kind of knew what was going to happen. I was sort of kind of prepared for it but it took a little longer than we thought because we had to actually um you know touch a whole lot more blocks normally when i did swaps the most i would have had maybe was like 30 people with like 20 blocks or something like that might have had a little more but basically around in that area so yeah it was um a little bit more than I thought. Took a lot longer. Kevin being bad. <laughs> uh, Veronica Williams is here. Saying, what machine is that it purrs? Oh, I forgot to answer that question. This isn't, all my machines are old. I don't just replace machines just because they got a new one out. I'm just not that type of girl. I like to use something until I can't use it anymore. But this is a Baby Lock Elagio. E-L-L-A-G-E-O. Every once in a while, I'll see on Facebook Marketplace where somebody is uh, trying to sell one. But people got them priced at like 500. You got to be careful because they're advertising them as being, they are embroidery machines. But you, you need to make sure that you have an external floppy disk. It takes a floppy disk. So that's how old this machine is. Now I do have an external floppy disk drive. So when people are telling you that, just make sure that you know that whether or not you can use it as an embroidery machine, you got to have that external floppy disk drive. It's like USB. You plug it in USB to your computer. That's how you get the files into this machine.
And this machine is really, really old. I bought it from my friend. Um, and she bought an Elysimo, which is this machine over here. And uh, my friend ended up passing. And so I bought her Elysimo from her, from her family as well. Because I just wanted the machines to remember her by since I had this one already. Eric says that he ventured out. He's in California, and he says, man, it's a mess. <laughs> it's not too much of a mess. Some people don't believe anything's wrong, so. Kimberly says, our quilting stores are only open by appointment. Joanne Fabric-like stores are too far from me. Yep. Now, you can order, like, you can call... Like, you can still call Jackman's if you don't want to go in, tell them what it is that you want. Like, if you're looking for, say, blue batiks or something, or if you know your particular fabric brand because they have a lot, they will get your order together and bring it out to your car if you don't want to come in. So they're still doing that. The, uh, the only thing as far as payment is that they're not taking cash. They said you got to have a credit card to pay. So... So they're not doing any cash transactions. I want to um, square this block up because it's my chain piece block. Um, yes, I did say floppy disk. And, and Kevin talking about, no ma'am, Miss T, you were my first. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> yeah, that was my first time going out when me and Kevin actually met, too. Like, not going to the grocery store or, you know, I have to check on my mom every now and then because she lives with my two brothers who ain't got it all upstairs some days. So, I have to make sure they're not mistreating her over there. Um... Kimberly says, I could, are they only open by appointment? Cheryl says, I got my blocks today. I was so excited. Thanks for the pen. You're so welcome, Cheryl. And then this is the part where when I'm trimming, I got to pay attention. So I'll be right back. I don't know why I cut my fan down right before I went live. That really don't make any sense when I'm always hot with all these extra lights I have on. Doesn't make any sense at all. So now I'm, oh, I wanted to show you these pieces that I'm trimming off. So I got pieces like this that if you sew them into a half square triangle, you may can get a half inch finish half square triangle, something like that. It's not very big, but when you look at them as a whole, it's a lot of fabric. And then I still got to trim the block all the way around at the end so I'm even getting even more pieces. It's not like when I do this that I'm done. So it's a lot of waste. So I'm going to hold on to them. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. But I'm going to hold on to them for a minute. Uh, probably make some fabric like I do on my long arm, like I do with threads, uh, with some between some water-soluble stabilizer. Probably do something like that. Make a piece of fabric and then use it some kind of way. But that's a lot of trash. Now, I do have a friend that collects, I keep scraps anyway, that I, any trimmings that I do, no matter how small, because I have a friend that makes the uh, large dog beds for the animal societies, and they will, you can put any fiber inside. They don't care what the uh, consistency is, because a lot of people, they don't want to buy large dog beds, and a lot of people don't donate that. So she'll just take some old, she'll take 100% cotton 
and put on the outside and then she can put anything she wants on the inside. Don't want to get cut. So what I need to do is chain piece on this one just so I can get my piece off. So two, three, four, four and a half. Got to find a piece. Um, today I actually quilted a customer's quilt. This is not the right size. Two, two, three, four. Were they in the wrong spot? I don't know. This was supposed to be four and a half, right? Wasn't this spot supposed to be four and a half? We'll just go to the next spot <laughs> that fits. I must not be counting right. Ta -da, ta -da. Just chain piece one on. Keep it moving. I just want to get this one off that I need to square up. I don't know why I keep losing my chat. Done it again. Here we go again. No connection. Ta da! Close all. See if I can open up uh, YouTube on my phone. I'm completely in the dark. <laughs> hmm. And this never happens until I'm live. Never happens. So I'm going to have to restart it again. So I'll just go ahead and trim. Because that's too far away for me to read the fine print. It's not very big. Verizon says hello. <laughs> All right. Press that. Then it's going to take me, oh, it took me to my page. I'm surprised. Totally surprised. Now I got to find out where I left off. I'm trying to figure out what Virgie was talking about with primary, priority mail not. <laughs> Did she ever answer that? I may have missed it. I don't see it. Um, Carrie uh, says, Miss T, are you going to have another meet and greet at Quilt Festival in Houston, Texas this year? I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to Houston, Texas, but if I go to Houston, Texas, I will definitely have a meet and greet. I'm just waiting to see what this coronavirus thing's going to happen in the winter. So I'm having a feeling that I may not be going to Houston this year. Um just because we're still getting new cases now and they're saying that it's going to come back in the fall. If we've got something massive going on like what we have now, I'm not going. And I'm, I'm not going for two reasons. One is because I don't want to get COVID. And number two is if they do have it, they're going to have to have some rules about how many people can be in there. You know how cr crowded Houston can be. And 
uh, I appreciate them doing that, but on the flip side, I don't want to be inconvenienced either. If I'm going to a show, I don't want to be waiting out in a line to get in. So, you know, it's a catch-22 type of thing. Because Houston already has long lines. If I got to wait in line for everything, and then we got to be socially distanced, I just don't know how that's going to work. I know that Houston uh, AQ, not AQS, International Quilt Festival is trying to have it. I do know that. They haven't canceled it yet. And I don't think financially they can, can, they can afford to cancel twice. You know, they canceled the one that was in California, so... I don't even know if, um, even in September, I may not even be going to Paducah. I don't think I'm going there either. <laughs> so it probably will not be one quilt show video this year. That is so weird. Not a one. Trying to make sure I keep these blocks square. Although that's subjective too. Veronica says, I have an Elegante. Yes, it is nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that it notifies you that your bobbin is low when you've got like a third of your bobbin still left. And then it's on the rest of the time. It has a beeping sound that it makes when, it needs, when that light comes on. And I had to turn that sensor sound off because I didn't want to hear it all the time. Um... Mayuki Shiba, I probably butchered that all the way, sorry. She says, I have a question, how do you sharpen snips? I do not. <laughs> I have not had any of my scissors or snips sharpened in like since Cloth World was in existence almost. Because I don't think I've ever had them done at Joann's. I've had them done when they were called Cloth World. So I can't tell you. Uh, people have said that you can try scissor sharpeners. Uh, places so try those type places but I wouldn't do it myself on something that I spend a lot of money on if I'm not experienced I wouldn't just buy a sharpening stone and go at my scissors like that so he says no no when you have to wait in line to get into the fabric store it's a mess <laughs> yes it is uh, Lisa says I thought One just hunted snips. Is she talking about? I don't know. I don't know what she's talking about. Susan says, I ran into Hobby Lobby yesterday, got what I needed, and ran out. Line to get fabric cut was long. Did not want to stay. You know, a lot of people, they made so many masks that it was people on social media saying that they had used up the majority of their stash making masks. Some people were making thousands and thousands of masks. That's like, not me. And then thinking of that four-letter word, my sister had the nerve to call me. I knew it was coming eventually. I knew it was coming because my husband said he had saw my nephew in the grocery store. And he had a bandana on his mouth. I said, a bandana? I said, did you have on your mask? He said, yeah. I said, did he mention you had on a mask? He said, yeah. But that's been like three weeks ago, maybe. And I'm thinking... Okay, so they just don't want to wear masks. They want to wear bandanas. I'm going to let them wear bandanas if that's what they want to do. And then I get the call today, and it's for them. So I got to make at least eight, I guess. Here we go again. But I'm going to see about starting on the commission quilt first because uh, before this pandemic hit in March, I was supposed to make this quilt in May. And she understood because I didn't have the fabric. I didn't have the red and white polka dot fabric. So I couldn't go to a store. I don't want to order that online. So she understood why I couldn't make it. And then I was just so busy for a long time. And now they just opened up this week. So I got to get that girl's fabric. 
I got to look and see if I got any more black cone of cotton after I made my um, quilt blocks to see if I need to purchase that. And uh, Carrie is asking, am I too late to finish up the blocks for the block swap? I have been bedridden since April with a broken pelvis. Uh, Eric says, oh, Carrie, hope you feel better. Mary says, oh, my, Carrie, I'm so sorry. And i uh, like to offer my get well wishes to you as well. But all the blocks have already been swapped. Unless everybody individually is mailing to you and you're individually mailing to them, that's the only way you're going to be able to get any blocks. Um, so that's like a done deal. Somebody's blocks got lost, and so they their blocks are not going to get swapped if they even get their own blocks back because we have no idea where their package is. It was supposed to be delivered Tuesday morning, and it never showed up. Uh, Kimberly says, I purchased a baby lock machine then was transferred to Germany. And when I returned to the States, I found my warranty was voided before I used it. Now I'm looking for a new machine. Wow. Did it get damaged in the transfer some kind of way? Uh, Diane saying, wait in line. That's better than a mask on in the store. You still got to wear a mask in the store. At the fabric at our fabric store you do. Uh, June says, Hope you're doing better. Talking to um to Carrie. Let's see. Tucker is here. Hi, Tucker. <laughs> he says, I got my blocks today and already have half the quilt put together. Oh my God. I should have known that you with all this little ball of energy you got. <laughs> You would already have it half done. <laughs> Robin says, I got a pineapple ruler today. Now I need to YouTube how to use it. Carrie says, I've missed you, Miss T, and everyone else. We miss you too. Hoping, Just hoping you get better. Kevin says, Wall Tucker, post pics in the Facebook group. He's probably going to have a video, Kevin. Don't you post pictures over there, uh, Tucker. Make him go to your web, your uh, YouTube video. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm so mean. <laughs> when you get it finished, after your video is up, I plan, if anybody posts them on Facebook and I see them, I'm just going to do like a YouTube video just showing everybody's quilts from the swap. But I, I don't want to take your whole thing away from your YouTube channel. So you do your channel first, and then we'll see your stuff. You got to wait, Kevin. <laughs> ah. Lisa says, Wild Carrie, hope you're healed. Dog pillow filler. That's Kimberly. Uh, she's talking about when I was saying the scraps. Lisa says, oh, she's talking to Mary. Regina says, I went to Joanne's fabric. Last week in Las Vegas, there was no cotton quilting fabric, only flannel. Oh, my God. She says, thank goodness for quilting fabric was open, even though they were further away. Now, that's weird. So, one, two, three. I don't know why this four is not working. It's going to work. I don't, like, I don't know why it didn't work on the other block, but it's working now. <laughs> So, I need 16 pieces, and I just pull off uh, pieces and just try to see if they haven't been used when I lay them down. Let me move this ruler out the way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Go down to the bottom and get some different ones. One, two, three, four. Okay, just mix them up a little bit. Some from the top, some from the bottom. Um, Georgie says everything is a mess. 
Mary says, good to see you at Lisa. Carrie is asking, Kevin and Quilty, would you please PM me your info on Quilty? Um, Lisa said, oh, she's talking to Regina. Uh, Diane says, I use anything under one inch goes in the doggies bags. So I already got that one in there. my chain block oh this is it <laughs> it's on the machine <laughs> my chain block now is the same size as my piece uh oh I ran out of thread I'm just air sewing I'm practicing ran out in the middle of my chain piece Anybody, uh, Quilt Gills, have met in person? Okay, this is, I don't really have to sew that one in. This is my chain piecing one. And Mary's telling Carrie that the swap was over the 1st of June. Yeah, all the blocks were due by um, May 31st was actually the deadline to get your stuff in. And I extended it until like Wednesday because I could still uh, coordinate getting your block swapped. But after that, it was closed. Susan says, I miss going on fabric buying trips with my quilt gill to Lancaster. Yep. I keep saying one year I want to do the, um, they don't call it the Dear Jane Retreat anymore, but in Ships You Wanna, uh, I want to go, I just want to go there. I like Amish areas. Virgie says, my order took seven days to travel from Oklahoma City to Detroit through the post office. You, you know, I've been sending people birthday cards here locally. And, um, yeah, a lot of my mail has been getting to people three weeks. I think if it wasn't a package or something that they didn't put regular mail as a priority, if it wasn't a bill or a package. All my bills came on time, I can tell you that. Electric bill, gas bill. Them are the only two that gets mail. But yeah, they came on time every month. But I couldn't get somebody a birthday card, though. Can't have that. Tiffany's back, y'all. <laughs> ah. And Eric's telling Tiffany it must be a thousand degrees <laughs> in Arizona, I guess. <laughs> this is not the time to go visit Arizona, that's for sure. My nephew moved to, I think he's in Phoenix. I got, well, I got two nephews actually in Phoenix. Maria Gomez is here. She says, it's the hottest spot in Texas. <laughs> um, Jim says, I went to Hobby Lobby this week. They were having 50% off all notions. Regular price on fabric. Yeah, because they know everybody wants fabric. But I won't be going to Hobby Lobby. Be 
actually used to have a Joann's in my um, neighborhood. And they closed it. I have to go on a 40-minute ride or so to go to Joann's now. Let's see, Carrie says, I got to put my phone on the charger. That's what Carrie says. Put your phone on the charger. <laughs> Let's see, I got 3%. I'm surprised it didn't cut off. Um, my uh, it, it. Drop to the bottom again. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, Carrie says, I will be at both Quilt Market and the show. Okay. And, um, I, you know, if I do decide to go, I would most definitely make announcements here. Uh, Veronica says, me... I have a problem using rotary cutter. The blade gets very dull after only a few passes. What is the possible problem I'm thinking? I have no uh, no idea uh, why your blade is not getting dull after a few passes. The only thing I can think of is that with dull stuff, a rotary blade is if you're cutting on top of the ruler, which means you're also getting close to your fingers. Also, if you're running over pins, pins can put nicks in them, but that's all that I've ever heard of somebody's blade getting dull from just a few uses. Uh, one thing you might want to do is try buying your rotary blades from Harbor Freight because they're much cheaper. And then they sell the 45 millimeter ones. And uh, they're a lot cheaper than buying them anywhere else even with a coupon. So um, I don't know why that's happening though. You could have just had a bad pack of blades. And Eric says, I am so bummed they canceled the Long Beach show. Diane says, the cool show is always packed. No way to distance. That's why I don't know what they're meeting for. Um, Vivian saying good night. She's got to go to sleep. Good night, Vivian. She's probably gone by now. Um, Regina says, T. Jackman's Fabrics website is very friendly. The store looks, the store does look beautiful. They have two stores, both stores. The one over here, I think, is a little bit bigger than the one. They have another one in Fairview Heights, Illinois, as well. And um, I like going to both of them because they have different clearance things on the tables. Um, that's why I like going to both. They are nice stores, but they are basic. That's why they're, they're called Jackman's Fabrics and not Jackman's Quilt Shop because they sell fabrics too. Uh, the one in St. Louis specializes in bridal or special occasion fabrics. And then the one in Illinois, it specializes in home, de home deck fabrics. So they're really big. Carrie says, we sell bananas and I really want one. Although I totally love my brother Novus 450 QS. My brother says, I'm going to stay in line to get my money up. I'll come back another day. I'm going to stay in line to get to give my money up. That's what he's saying. To, to, he's coming back on another day. <laughs> uh, Regina says, it's not very friendly is what I meant to write. Oh, the website isn't very friendly because... Um, they got like an older style website. They really don't sell a lot of, it used to be people didn't even buy fabric without touching it. But, um, believe you me, when you get into Jackman's, don't, don't let Jackman's website fool you. If you ever in the St. Louis or, or just east of St. Louis in Illinois, if you are ever in those areas and you get a chance to go to Jackman's, you go to Jackman's because you are going to be shocked. You, you're you, you're going to hate you went in there, first of all. <laughs> they sell all styles of fabric, too. 
know, they have some reproductions. They got a whole section of batiks. They got, and it's all organized by either fabric line or children's, solids, uh, tone on tones. Yeah. You ever get into Jackman's, you're going to regret going in there. They got some beautiful stuff. Um, uh, let's see, Ollie's prices here. She says, I'm still making masks. Just when I think I'm out, they pull me back in laughing out loud. Hi, Ollie's. Welcome back. Elaine says she's trying to catch up. Eric says, T, what is that pink thing on the shelf? It's the pink thing. <laughs> I This is an odd light. Um, because this bulb up here, you know, I went back trying to find my order for ordering the odd light. I went through the whole PayPal thing. I remember doing that. And for some reason, I can't find an order where I pay for it on PayPal unless odd light uses a different name for its billing. I couldn't figure out anything that I paid for that I shouldn't have paid for. So I don't think I have any bubs coming. That's why I haven't received any bubs in like three weeks. I've been waiting on bubs for this outlight. So this is a portable outlight here. Y'all so nosy. This is a portable outlight and it's on a base that swivels the light. And then in here, you can put this on left-handed or right-handed. Or depending on which side you want to use it on. I can't even get the thing open because I don't use it. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? It's got a magnifier in here, but I can't even get it open. There it go. It's still got the paper on the magnifier. But this is a magnifier that you can drop down to. May as well take that off. <laughs> but that's what the pink thing is. put this here because this light is not working so I just had the top up so that it wouldn't be in the camera um, Tiffany says I'll do a video for my swap blocks but I haven't got no mail yet and yours was mailed out Probably Monday or Tuesday, so your mail is slow. Because they all went priority mail. Should have been there within three days, even if it was Tuesday. You weren't at the bottom. Um, I think you were, I think I posted your stuff on Tuesday. I, I can't remember what day I put in the uh, Facebook group. But you should have gotten yours within three days at the max. Elaine says, Flannel in Vegas, just hot, hot, hot. Yes, it is. Shaquita <laughs> um, says, Quilt shops are getting UPS fabric drops every day. And uh, that's funny because I'm doing, uh, I do scrapbooking stuff and been ordering scrapbooking stuff. And they say UPS is not even showing up to pick up their orders for like every three to five days. They just picking times when they come. Uh, because say they went to somewhere else and the truck's already filled. They don't have any system for going back and getting the people that they missed who call the previous days. So apparently UPS is getting a lot of business. And I know uh, I haven't been getting a whole lot of my Amazon packages being delivered by Amazon. Amazon is utilizing the post office and um, uh, UPS to deliver stuff and it could be small stuff that UPS is dropping off in my house. It's just crazy But it says just like I'm number 38 in block swap the making of the quilt is number 38 in the work in progress and or UFO list <laughs> She is so funny <laughs> Woo, Donna Richie says first time watching I was subscribe but never hit the bell well thanks hit the bell now <laughs> so you'll know when we're live again and or when i upload a video uh virgie says i don't need more fabric i have plenty yes i do too it's just that i don't if i don't have a sp specific piece of fabric that i need then i have to get that i know that i don't have any mini mouse red with white dots i already know that
<laughs> and Don, Diane talked about when I was air sewing. Tell me, I hate air sewing, don't you? Yes, I do. Um, Eric says, I Gil tried to do a Zoom thing, but it was bad. Too many people trying to talk at once. Yes, because everybody miss everybody. <laughs> Carolyn Bowser is here. She says, hi, Tia and all. I received my blocks. It's good to see the different types of fabrics from places other than your own state. Well, thank you. Welcome, Carolyn. Veronica says, my message got lost and finished it. Okay, did, it, did I lose it again? I'm sorry. If I missed your message, please post it again. Uh, Lighten says i hate that when that happens running out of your bobbin yes indeed and i'm glad that it was only like short sewing sometimes i've been sewing strip sets and look up and the thing ran out um eric at diane 57 saying what is air sewing that's when your bobbin runs out i'm sure y'all figured it out by now kevin says you and i are gonna go do our own quilt trip to ship shawana then t yes yes Got somebody to go with. None of my friends like traveling or any, like they'll do our local retreats and stuff. But when I start talking about out of town stuff, they're just not people. Uh, some of them don't have the money. And the ones that have the money, they involved in other things that they can't just up and go to stuff like that. So I do a lot of traveling by myself. Uh, Susan says, I have to mute everyone on Zoom meetings. Let speakers speak. Out hand, uh, hand up if you want to speak. Yep. Um, Shaquita says, I have been to Shipshawana, nice area and people. <laughs> and then Eric goes, oh, I've been air sewing all my life. <laughs> Susan says, I want to go to retreat in Shipshawana. Heck, I want to go anywhere right about now. I think we all want to go somewhere. I see uh, like Southwest had, it was either today or yesterday, they had been having flights for like, first they were $49 one way. Now they were up to $99 each way. And I think today or yesterday was the last day. That was pretty funny. But I ain't booking nothing. I'm not getting on a plane if I go anywhere, that's for sure. Um... <laughs> Diane told Eric, no wonder we never see a quilt from you <laughs> since he spent all his life air sewing. <laughs> Maria says, we are started last week, but I missed my husband had surgery, so I'm playing nurse, watching you so I can get inspired to start quilting again. That's pretty cool. Uh, I haven't heard of anybody's gills having an in-person meeting yet, so I'm uh, my gills still waiting on that. Right now, we're tentatively looking at July, but that could be changed, too. I think we were trying to wait and see if the numbers increased in the area. So, yeah. And I'm not holding Scrap Club until the Gill meets, until the Gill decides to meet. So, I'm using that organization as uh, their rules for having my meeting. So... So Scrap Club has been canceled since February as well. And Virgie talking about better pay those bills early to avoid late charges. I don't do late charges and I don't have debt. If I can't pay for it when I get paid, I don't buy it. Those were my younger years having debt. Debt is a horrible thing to have over your head. The only debt I got is my car, and that's because they had 0% interest. And I'm like, why pay them the money? <laughs> why pay the money if they uh, not going to charge me interest? So, And I'm paying more than what they want, so it'll be paid off before it's even supposed to be paid off. But that's the only thing that I have as a, uh, some kind of long-term loan. I try not to, um, just from being young and having issues with uh trying to pay everything just decided i didn't i didn't like debt so i try to avoid it at all costs and i have definitely i'm an accountant so <laughs> and i definitely hate interest okay so i went to college to be an accountant after i you know a bit you know when you're young and you first go to college they're giving you these credit cards you don't even understand what the heck's going on with those things 
So yeah, I had to get out of that mess. Said I would never let that happen again. Cool girl say she may have more than one blade in the cutter. Oh, that's a uh, that's a good idea. I forgot who asked that. Uh, check and make sure you got just one blade, cause sometimes the oil will make them stick together. So that's a great idea. Um. <laughs> And Regina is telling Carrie that titanium blades last longer. Arteza has the best price. Um. <laughs> Eric's cheating with fabric glue to make its points match. Maria says, I had put in a new blade and I couldn't cut after two days trying. And I figured out I had two blades in instead of one. I sure felt like a beginner <laughs> uh lightning says i like hancock fabric i wish it never closed and this is betsy yeah i like um hancock's too i liked hancock's about five six years before they closed i'd say because they had a huge quilting um fabric and then like right before they got new it seems like Companies kind of know when things are not right and it shows up years before, but we just write it off as they're getting fabric from somewhere else. We don't like it. And then all of a sudden their fabric changed and I didn't like their fabrics anymore. They never had great prices on it anymore. And I think that's when uh, Hancock's knew it was in trouble. T, thanks so much for the info. I will be at Jackman's next year. Yes, honey, you got to go to Jackman's. There are some good quilt shops in this area, too, but you got to go to Jackman's. I'm just saying. There's nothing bigger around here like Jackman's. And when you get in there, you will fully understand what I'm talking about. Uh, Lisa says Shipshawana is a great place. And Eric is talking about, ooh, to the art light. <laughs> I'm so far behind in the comments. Uh, Judy Judy says she misses Hancock's. She had one a mile away. <laughs> Elaine's laughing at me calling Eric nosy. <laughs> I thought it was a specialized Accu quilt. Nope. Not pink. Well, they did have the little pink ba go baby. Wasn't that go baby pink? And June says she got her blocks on Friday in Iowa. Uh, Regina got her blocks Tuesday. She was number nine, so her blocks were mailed. I actually dropped them at the post office on Sunday, but they probably didn't get processed till Monday, so that's pretty fast. Um, and Diane says she didn't get hers either. Diane, yours went out the last day because I mailed the last ten all together. I mailed from number 28, and then I had three people pick up locally. So I mailed from number 28 to 39 all in one day. So that's 11 or 12. 11 sets of blocks. And, Diane, you were in that batch. So that was Wednesday. So Wednesday should have been Thursday, Friday. You would think it by Saturday priority mail that you would all have your mail by now. That's weird. June says she was number 23. <laughs> and Virgie say you tell them, T. <laughs> uh, June says, I gave Minnie Mouse. That is pink with white dots. Yeah, this person wants, this is a requested uh, quilt. And I'm trying to decide if I'm even going to charge them for it because it's my Girl Scout. Um, it was the Girl Scout leader. I was a co-chair co-leader with the Girl Scouts and we did so much together I really consider her a friend and she wants it for a grandbaby uh, one of her daughters was in Girl Scouts of course with my daughter she got two daughters they were both in Girl Scouts with my daughter and one of her daughters had a, uh, is married has a baby so she wants this Mickey quilt for the grandbaby that's the gift from her um, for the baby for the first I think I think it's her first birthday, and her first birthday was, 
she asked me in March. It was in March. She said, you can't get it done in a week, can you? <laughs> Joking. I said, absolutely not. <laughs> um, Scott Martin says, hey, did you ever use the Hawaiian fabric? P.S. This isn't Scott. I was finna say, <laughs> it's my friend husband in here. <laughs> no, I've been holding on to that because I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. I haven't come across anything that's inspiring me with that yet. And I've been putting like other, I bought some other Hawaiian fabric pieces or a fabric that looks Hawaiian to go with that as well. So, haven't used it yet. <laughs> um... Virgie says, I don't think priority mail is even on time. Uh, everybody probably ordering and delivery companies are swamped. That's exactly what's happening because you got some people that are not ordering or not going to the store at all. They refuse to go in any store. So um, people are even getting their groceries. That's what Amazon has. Their priority is getting people their groceries. So they're delivering that and they're having anything that's non-essential being delivered by the post office and UPS. No matter what size it is, it's kind of weird when UPS drops off a little package, uh, a corner rounder, you know. It's like, this is crazy. <laughs> um, thank you, Diane. She says, please like this video, share with your friends, and if you are new, subscribe to this lovely channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified when I go live. And when I upload videos, Regina says, T, let me know when you start traveling. I'm ready to go. I'll start from Vegas. <laughs> you know, I don't go west a lot. That's why I was really trying to get over to that area, but I have not traveled west. It just takes so many hours of driving. I've driven like the 12 hours to Louisiana. I've driven, I haven't driven straight through to Texas we, yes, I did. We drove straight back from Texas. Uh, but when I start going west, it's like I need to have somebody as my road partner because it takes like 24-hour drives to get to like Phoenix and stuff. It's crazy. I have to stop somewhere overnight and stay and all of that kind of stuff. So to the places that I want to go to, you know, I've been to almost everything on the East Coast and haven't visited a whole lot on the West Coast at all. I have never even been to Vegas. It's crazy. Cheryl says, I'm heading home, but driving, I will not fly right now. Uh, don't you dare fly Southwest. All planes are safe to fly. Airport's kind of sketchy. Yep. I just don't want to be around that many people. They said that they were first not putting people in the center seats, and they really are putting people in the center seats, and so... I just don't want to be around people like that for any period of time. I'll I'll just drive myself wherever I need to go. Uh, June says, I'm waiting on a package from Amazon. It's been five weeks. Oh, my God. I got batting quicker than that. I bought a roll of batting from Amazon. I got that in, like, two weeks. Kevin says, laughing out loud. Why not Southwest? I got my Southwest and my Delta people in here. They about to have a fight. <laughs> ah, woo. <laughs> uh, June is probably being shipped from China, she says. <laughs> people have been saying, like in my groups where I scrapbook, They've been saying that they live in California, order comes from California, and that their package has been, like, to Canada, back down to Arkansas, and then they said it's been sitting two weeks saying that it's two hours away, and they don't know where, where the two hours away is and what's going on with their packages. It's just crazy. They still out there popping fireworks. Um, that is too funny. June, they said that to us, but I think they lied. And I think what's happening is like when companies ship sometimes they'll make they'll they'll make your tracking because they've printed your label, but if it doesn't get picked up, it's showing that the item has been shipped or something sometimes, but the it ain't even been picked up by the company, the carrier that's gonna pick it up. It's just crazy. Uh, 
June said, uh, Eric says, I'm sorry, I want to go home, but I have no choice but to fly. Of course, you can, you don't have your own wings. Uh, Diane says, if you're not using a cutting mat, it will dull your blades. I'm going to assume that everybody using a rotary blade has got an appropriate cutting mat. I'm hoping that somebody has taught them how to use a rotary cutter before they just jump in like that. Because that is dangerous. And then Eric says, okay, if I'm in the area, I will go to Jackman's. Yes, you will. If I ever see you in St. Louis, I'm taking you to Jackman's. <laughs> Kim is here. Hi, Kim. She says, hi, TNT. Quotes. Well, you all can see how much sewing I'm doing, right? Y'all got this comment section lit up. I can't even catch up. <laughs> y'all, something else. Cheryl says she got her blocks today. Get Mickey stuff from Jasminia. She has YouTube, Facebook. She has YouTube and Facebook is what I'm assuming she's saying. Thank you for that. Francine is here. She says, hello, everyone. I so regret I've missed over an hour of chat. I hope all are doing well. Yes, I am. I'm sure a lot of us that are here are, except for Carrie. She's healing. Um, but uh, Welcome. Or was it? Was it Carrie? I can't remember. I'm getting with a C. I wish they would go somewhere with these fireworks. And my friend saying UPS. No, not UPS. United States Postal Service is crazy late these days. Yes. Um, Eric says that there is an Amazon shipping house where he lives. He says they are crazy busy. <laughs> and Virgie said, I know one of the mail is slow. T is keeping them busy. I'm only mailing birthday cards to, this year I decided not to mail birthday cards to, uh, like, I did do friends and family. I started out doing friends and family. And then my brother-in-law, he calls, he calls, he calls. I can't remember what they call for. And then he says, and his wife, my brother, my husband's sister, she said, I got to tell you, I had to laugh at Langston. He was saying, why is she sending me a belated birthday card? I don't know what she's sending me this card for all late and stuff. And so Donna says she got the envelope and she looked at it and she saw where it had been postmarked way before his birthday. Because I mail him like uh, the week before your birthday in, in, the, in our area. You should get your mail the next day because they take it and do all the sort stuff overnight. You should get it the next day. He lives 15 minutes from us and it took them three weeks to get him his birthday card. And then she was saying that he had he was apologizing after he went around the house fussing talking about how he got a car three weeks late. <laughs> so then I didn't have motivation to send cards out. So I still I still tried to send them to my scrap club people. And then I tried to still send sympathy cards. And then I asked this girl like three weeks later if she had got a sympathy card because her brother passed of COVID. And she said she never got it. I'm like, oh my gosh, see, this is ridiculous. Now you make it, I'm making all these cards. They all pretty and stuff. And then people are not getting them. So I have no motivation to make cards or send cards right now. So and then I do and my niece, I have a niece and a second cousin that works for the post office. And both of them say that stuff is just everywhere. It is everywhere. It's horrible. Regina says, T, I'll meet you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Virgie says, sorting has to be a nightmare. Uh, oh, uh, my friend saying, Mary saying that Delta will only fill to 50% center seat open. No flights tonight. <laughs> like, where am I going tonight? <laughs> I guess I could 
up and go somewhere if I wanted to, but that's not kind of the plan. <laughs> uh, Linda says, thumbs up. Uh, hit the check button to subscribe. Hit not notification bell also. Thank you, Linda. Diane says, I found Amazon sales from China, which takes a month. Amazon don't don't necessarily sell from China per se. They have other sellers. You know, Amazon is not the only person that's selling. So if your order isn't, it could be in an Amazon place, but it could be somebody else's product too. Tiffany says, people been shooting off fireworks here last night down in the cul-de-sac on my street. Someone had their own show. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Eric is saying deal about coming to St. Louis. Uh, June says won't order from them again. Girl says I remember that package I sent you. Maybe the crumb block challenge. I live four hours from St. Louis and it took over a week to get you. Did it? Wow. And one time um, I had a one scrapbook company. I was looking for something because I was working on those journals and I need to have it. And and I, I kept calling the store, and they talking about that they had shipped it, but I'm like, I never got it, and it was supposedly priority mail, and it's like two weeks old. I finally go up to the post office, because they're telling me, when I checked the tracking number, they told me that they sent it back for insufficient address. So I went and asked them, what addresses do you have online for me? And all of my address information was correct. And it's very difficult for a company to put the wrong address on a package, because they use automated systems. So once your address is correct, when you do your login, they use that information. They're never retyping your address or manipulating your address. So it was just weird. And then I go up to the post office about two and a half weeks in. I said, do you all by any chance have a package for my P.O. box? Do you know that it was sitting in the back? They had clicked it as... It was going to take a while for me to get. This was in January before COVID. This was not, uh-uh. It was crazy. Just crazy. Just sitting in the back. And that's why I went today to check and make sure that they didn't have the girl Block sitting in the back. So I hope she knows she can get her postage back because uh, doing something overnight is a lot of money. I hope she get her money back. And then Rose is also saying, by the way, hi T and everyone. <laughs> uh, I've been to St. Louis and I've been to Jackman's. We'll put it on my list. Please do. It's a nice shop. And we got another one that's also in Illinois and one in O'Fallon, Missouri. Called Also Personal. They're kind they're neat too. Uh Tiffany. Virgin says, I ordered a shirt from, and I think it was two weeks, and I had not received word that it was even shipped. I canceled the order. All my shirts have shipped. <laughs> I don't think I missed anybody. Um, but I was, I had, I wasn't even supposed to ship until this week coming up. But I can't handle. The stress of knowing that something is there waiting for me to do and it's piling up. So I got this. I went ahead and ordered early and got the orders out. I was only missing one shirt. One lady wanted a um, a white V-neck. And for some reason, in this area, I don't sell a lot of white shirts. Uh, my sister does uh, food catering, so I'll keep her size in white because she likes white. Because uh, if you can keep a clean white shirt... It shows that you can uh, keep clean to cook. So she cooks in white. Um, but um, no. I don't tend to sell a lot of white shirts. Uh, and Eric says that I've been making cars a lot, but for sad reasons exactly. I don't care if it's late as long as it, I get a car. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing, too. I'm like, and he running around there fussing about getting a birthday card late. He has never sent me a birthday card. That was what was so funny. It's like, 
how can people complain and you've never even sent me a birthday card as many years as I've known you? It's, people are funny. They really don't think before they act. <laughs> yep, I can hear fireworks. They're right behind me. It's the house right behind me. They were out today. They had like a lot of little kids over. They had put one of those little plastic pools in the yard. So they had kids in the pool. So they might have had a party earlier today. And this is how they capping off their party. And Diane saying that Tiff has crazy mail too. It's, uh, Tiff says, yep, cause also I'm a very high desire to travel to town. So there is always something. My friend's birthday is August. I better send her card now. That's from Virgie. <laughs> Tiffany says, yes, Diane. I don't even think, I can't remember if I even sent Mary a card because I got so frustrated when stuff wasn't going. I think I stopped sending them out of town and just was sending them local because I started out sending friends and family birthday cards January. I know I got through February and I probably got through March. And then when the people birthdays in March saying they weren't getting their mail, I was like, this is uh, depressing. So... I stopped sending them, and I can't remember if I sent them in April. Maybe just my Quill Gill people got them in April and May. And I know I missed somebody in June already. I think I'm just going to drive her, make a belated birthday card and drive it to her. Her birthday was the 9th. It's really late. But I'm not going to mail it because it'll be getting there next year at this rate. Yeah, and then Eric is saying this uh, post office uh, got a major bo uh, budget cut this year. And then um, she said, you still need cardinal stripes? If you want to add more to your quilt, you can always give me more. Because I'm just saving for your quilt. I haven't even started yet. I haven't even worked on mine again because I haven't um, been to retreat where I could work on it. I've been working on charity quilts that I needed to get done at retreat. So... Uh, if you want to give me more shirts, whenever you, I see you, it's fine. It's no rush. Um, I hear yours, T. There's the same time there or fireworks here. <laughs> so y'all can hear them already, huh? Uh, OMG, I miss those little plastic pools. <laughs> of course, we had to have two of those plastic pools because I fill up one by myself. <laughs> yeah. Eric is so tall. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I finally got through. <laughs> Mary talking about, I forgive you. You ain't got to forgive me. <laughs> you ain't paying for it. What you talking about? <laughs> You're just crazy self. Talking about, I forgive you. You want to get on my commission list? It'll get done quick. Otherwise, I do what makes me money first. That being funny, I'm surprised you even awake. You should be in bed. I left my watch. Let me see what my phone says. It's 1127 where you are. You're not even supposed to be up. Just trying to make sure I got my one up there. That's my chain piece because they're the same size now. I already got a duplicate fabric. I'm on a roll. <laughs> All right, sure do. I don't get much done when I'm chatting with you guys. You already know that, right? And then I'll come back in here sometime in the middle of the night and knock these blocks out. I already had these blocks started so I could finish, but that didn't work. Didn't work at all. She said, no, no, T, I have not a problem with you. I was trying to figure out what she was talking about. I guess she was talking about the post office mail 
It was cleared up later, but I just didn't see it, Virgie. Thank you. Because I'm like, I priority mail everything I sent out with those blocks. I was like, oh my gosh, who, who package didn't go out priority mail? It was really a mistake. I had one package, I don't know who it was, that had stamps, you know, that they had their self-addressed stamp envelope. It was one that you bought, it was a brown package that you get from the post office, and I'm not sure if it was one of the free bags or if it was one you paid for. I don't know. But it was one of those brown bags that was two different kinds. And they tried to tell me that it was going to cost like $37 to send the blocks in that package. And I'm like, uh, ma'am, I've sent 37 of these out already. And not a one of them cost me over $16. So I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And she kept trying to put it in there, and it wouldn't take it. And then on the package, the size of the package was even wrong. They had the package being 20, like 24 inches or 20 inches wide, and it wasn't even that long. It was like 16 or something. So that was knocking the price up. But I knew I wasn't about to leave $37 at the post office. <laughs> That I wasn't going to do. Trying to get these pieces on here. I still got three more pieces to go on here. And also, if you're doing Guileen Fitzgerald's method, when I get to the corners, which I thought I would get to tonight, but I'm not. Nope, I'm not. Probably in a half hour, maybe. Um, I, I cut three inch squares and then I cut those three inch squares in half and that's what I put on my corners so I didn't waste using a square to cover piece seven and eight because I didn't like that little piece. My friend told me I got to get my heckling in, and hell, it's early for me. <laughs> she also one of those people that uh, is up all night because it's quiet. She's working. Trisha is telling us here. She says, hi, T. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Hi to you as well. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, pulls is great exercise. I just don't want the maintenance of it. Or the responsibility if somebody gets in your yard. Ah! I'm sewing this piece on. I see it's already in this block. <laughs> and it's the one already with a duplicate. <laughs> I'm on a roll with this block. <laughs> it's like we can't have two in the same. Just stop. So we need one on each of these. Um, and Eric is asking, by the way, did Missouri Star Quilt Company buy Nancy's Notions? Yes, they did. They bought it from Taconi. Um, <laughs> Diane talking about, yep, we all love to chat. <laughs> Yes, we do. This one is short one. But this one on here that I just ripped. This one has four. Um... And Eric says they taking over everything. 
They were trying to buy Hancock's fabrics, but Hancock's didn't sell it to them. If they had bought Hancock's fabric, they would have been everywhere. But that did not happen. He says that he saw Missouri Star Court Company had an ad for an accountant. I was thinking of applying, but not sure. You know, I haven't heard anything about how they treat employees. I do know that they hire everybody. They say everybody is hireable. Even if you don't like, like if you don't like talking to people, then they'll put you in the warehouse. If you like cleaning, then you can clean up, you know? So they try to give people jobs that they like. So from what I hear, they try to employ everybody in that town because they need every hand they can get. But how they treat them, I don't know. The, the employees seem happy when I visit. That's all I can say. Um, Francine says, do it, Eric. Do not let an opportunity go by. $37. <laughs> and then Mary says, that would be cool if you move to the Midwest. Well, yeah, that would that would be true. <laughs> that part would be true. That's like a four and a half hour ride for me to Missouri Star. Although I don't go to Kansas City that much, they're kind of back behind Kansas City. <laughs> I got people not wanting to put the four-letter word. Lisa says, I've only made two masks since I got here. I cannot listen, read, and sew at the same time. <laughs> she only made two masks. Yeah, because there's too much going on in the chat box. And I'm always behind. So, you all have figured things out by the time I get to it. <laughs> and then Mary talking about, just think how close you'll be to Ms. Crochet. <laughs> My friend says she's still making face masks. Oh, my God. See, I just never wanted to be in the face mask business. I'm so glad that people didn't ask me. That A lot of people didn't ask me. I had some ask me, but I'm glad a lot of people did not ask. And I only did them for the people that asked other than my mom. She didn't know to ask because she didn't know she even, well, she knew she needed masks, but she didn't know I could make them per se. She knew I made quilts. So she wouldn't have mentioned anything about a mask. But my mom's only been out one time. And she had a doctor's appointment. So she's doing really good. Whoops. Got to put you in. Got to make sure you cut these blocks right. Um... Did you hear something else behind me? I haven't heard anything. Sometimes they have like the big bomb things that put a lot of color up in the air. They have all kinds of stuff. It's all illegal, mind you. But they have it anyway. Oh, they, oh, he talking about where he is, I guess. I don't know if he's talking about mines or his. Eric's asking, um, Mary, how many masks have you made so far? He wants to know your total, girl. What's your total, girl? He says, all the more reason to move to the Midwest. 
Well, it depends on where in the Midwest you move now. <laughs> I guess if you move to Hamilton, Missouri, it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm, one night I was on her live and I had to end up calling the police. They were shooting behind me. Somebody, I don't know if it was the house behind me or if it was like across the street uh, from the house behind me. But it was loud. Might have been on Saturday night too. <laughs> I ended up having to cut that video. Had to edit that video. And it was a live chat that I had to end up figuring out how to edit. It took me a minute to figure it out, too. Because YouTube software is hard to understand, and it take a while. It take you three or four times to do the same thing before it works. So, but that's how it is. We got to use what they give us. Francine says she wished Hancock's was still there. It was in, within walking distance. I forgot to take this one off. I need to sew this, my spare one, so I can trim this one up on my machine. Um, Kim says she had one a few blocks away. Trying to read some comments that I can see while my phone's flat while I'm trimming. <laughs> um, I don't know what they're talking about in this comment section. We've got Tiffany talking about fabric softener. <laughs> Y'all have all kind of conversations in this chat room. Virgie says, I'm trying to do some machine embroidery, and I can't find the file I want. That is a hard thing with machine embroidery, and I do have all my files organized by designer. So, like, I need a good design, I got a folder for that, and then I make a folder for every pack that I have for them. It is hard. So, I realized that I kind of know who makes stuff. And then, uh, and if I need, say, like, I wanted to make an in-the-hoop uh, pouch or something, then I would search for bag or something like that. And then it will, just off of my hard drive, and then it will pull up everything that had bag because sometimes they'll have an instructional sheet, and that instructional sheet would have the word bag on it. And then it'll pull up everything that's just bags. And so then I start selecting from there. But you got to organize them embroidery files. They can get out of hand quick. And I only put on my, uh, I have a, on my desktop I think I have it on. I only put my uh, version that I use. So I don't put all the versions on there either. But, so when I get my CD, I just take it, take my files and upload them to my hard drive. But you got to be organized with that. Otherwise, you'll never see them again. Eric, somebody, if I go under the bed, the bullets won't kill me, but the suffocation will. <laughs> ah, this one's really little. Well, they still out here with these fireworks again. Trying to make sure they're not turning into gunshots over here too. <laughs> so I was trying to listen to make sure they still fireworks. Uh, 
Well, June saying she's got 15 masks that she's getting rid of on Monday, and then that's it. I heard they want kid masks. Nope, no more. <laughs> yep, the mask thing's getting old. When my sister called today, she talking about, do you have any mask? I said, no, I don't have masks, but if you need me to make you a mask, I'll make you a mask. Well, I don't want you to make them if you... I said, I said, if you need a mask, I'll make a mask. You can't just call somebody and expect them to have masks ready for anybody that call. <laughs> she is funny. Like, girl, nobody just has masks sitting around. Not me, anyway, because I don't like making them. <laughs> and she wasn't picky about color or anything, so that was really nice. So I don't have to worry about that part. This one's been used. That one's been used. Not this one. I'm skipping y'all. Lisa says she has no idea how many masks she has made. Um, she said around 29 yards of fabric work. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> but I've had people, one lady, she had so many masks she had made. She was she fell asleep over her sewing machine. Her husband took her pictures talking about that she, you know, she can't go to bed because she got the help where they need these masks. And I hear that there are places that are still asking for large quantities of masks. It's like, did you all not understand that you could wash them? <laughs> It's funny. Lisa says she's getting too sleepy. Good night, Miss T and everyone. God bless you all. Good night, Lisa, if you're still here. And my friend says she's made 77, can only ever do about three per day. Arthritis kicks in, plus now the garden takes up my time. And she's got some beautiful pictures she posts on for her garden, too. Just gorgeous. I love looking at that kind of stuff. I just don't want to do the work. It takes a lot of work to do that. Is this two on here? Nope, that's just one. Not bad. Is this one or two? It's just one. Let me take it off. <laughs> I don't know how I got two on this one, and this one only's got one. Something happened. Something funny happened. Only got one. <laughs> it's getting time for me to go to bed. I did, um, I got up today because I knew I needed to quilt somebody's quilt because they're going out of town. So I knew I needed, and I had some other runs I needed to make, some paperwork I needed to get done. So I got up early. So I've been up all day. It took me eight hours to quilt the quilt. And I didn't do anything. I did some paperwork in between, but not a lot. Want to make sure nothing went south since I was in a hurry to get it done, so. This one's on there. Um, I 
And Diane says, I hear your fireworks, T. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they slow down for a minute and then they start right back up. But like I said, I know they had at least five, six little girls out in the pool today. So, so I know they's having something over there. Uh, it's 10:50. We're gonna do 10 more minutes, and I'm only I'm gonna make sure I get off because my husband wants to go. He likes looking at certain things on the internet. So when I'm on for two hours, I want to try to get off on time so he can go back to doing what it is that he's doing. So I'm not holding him up all night. He'll put some stuff to be. T-bold, I guess. I don't know what you call that. I don't do that. I don't record anything. If I don't see it, if I'm not available, I just miss it. Francine says, I did make extra masks. So far, I have some sitting around. Most were specific on whether elastic or ties, and that's uh, what I've been asking people, like, what, what kind do you want me to make? And my sister has no idea. And I'm like, are you going to be wearing this to work? Because I feel like if she's going to wear it to work, she might want the, the ties. Because I feel, if you wear glasses, that the elastic gets to be irritating after a while. So that's why I started making the ties for people, because they were going back to work. And they do take longer to make, though. It's so much easier to make them with elastic. So I think what I'm going to do is make, it's four of them. So I'm going to make four with elastic and four with ties. Now, my niece brought me some of that real thin elastic that they have on the regular mask. Uh, I, I haven't used that yet. I'm trying to figure out if you think fabric is too heavy for that. Cause I would love to use that because I think that wouldn't irritate the glasses that little thin elastic and I'm not talking about ponytail ties I got like she brought me yards of just that real thin elastic in different colors but I haven't used it yet so I'm gonna I was planning on doing one of those as an experiment to see if it would work I'm going to the bottom y'all tell me what you all think about that Bye, Tiffany. I guess I missed that when I went to the bottom. Good night. She says, I'm going to go. I can't hear over here these babies in the pool. I'll see y'all soon. Bye, T and everyone. Bye, Tiffany. Donna says, I ordered from Cotton Cuts and my credit card from my bank wouldn't work. I had to call the bank and they said they blocked Texas, Georgia. In another state because of all the fraud yeah and Texas was the state that um, hit my credit card it was so funny they didn't get any money because at the time they were trying to use it I was somewhere else trying to use it so they denied both of them <laughs> so I, and then uh, I didn't even call right then because I, I've had that happen to me like three times where I've had somebody uh, using my debit card i stopped i don't use my debit card anymore um i have never had it happen to me on a credit card but i those debit cards are easy for them to get access to apparently and the funny thing was when the lady called me she says do you have your card on you and i'm like sure i do and she's like Okay, can you read off such and such? And so she was having me read different stuff on the card to prove that I had the card in my possession when I was trying to use it and they were using it. Because she was trying to figure out who was the right person to have the card. So, yep. I think we got one more to go on this, well, one more on this particular round. I got to do a whole nother set of strips and then the corners. I don't 
don't really like sitting back here with the light on if they popping fireworks either. I really don't. Michelle says, it was relaxing to watch tonight. Thank you. Hello from Central New York. See ya. You leaving now? <laughs> See ya, Michelle. Um, good night, Gramps. And uh, Diane says, make ties is easier to adjust. I feel like they fit better, too, because if the elastic, if you need it a little longer or if it's too big, it's cumbersome with that, too. Uh, Kelly A is here saying, what do you attach the face shield to? And Eric. Francine says that the one HS or the best to me doesn't irritate as far as I've heard. And that's what I was thinking because those are small. She's, Joanne says, I like the thin round elastic and that's what I got is some of that. But it's, uh, it's packaged all up. It's so cute. I don't know where she got it from, but she was like, I know you're making masks. And uh, it has like three yards of each color, four colors, and then she brought me two packs. Like, okay. And I'm thinking, I can use this in scrapbooking. Because <laughs> they like lavender, pink, a purple, and some other color, maybe a blue. It's like, oh, this is cute. Francine says, there's the pleated ones versus the shaped one. I'm doing all pleated ones. I'm not doing any shapes. They're free. You get what I make for you, and that's it. And my pleated ones, they fit really good, especially with the ties on them. They fit really good. Now, my husband, when I did the ones with the regular elastic, it wouldn't reach to his ears. And he doesn't have a big face, so... Just that those masks don't fit everybody. But when I make the same mask and I put the ties on it, then he was a he liked that a whole lot better. And he actually wears them now. He didn't want to wear them before. So Yep. One more piece on this. And then I gotta sew on my chain off piece because now I gotta trim. And it's 10.57, so I'm going to be letting you guys go in a little bit. And I can sew on a piece here. So it's the same size as these. I got all kinds of fabrics mixed in here. I'm seeing Christmas stuff. Whole lot of flowers. Just use it up. And that thing is still, I've been in there twice and pulled out probably about a hundred strips by now, but the, you'll never know it looking at this thing. They just still puffed up. Just a lot. Let me just press this. Um, Eric says he just poked some elastic through some plastic and just put it on his head. And I've been seeing people uh, using like um, soda bottles and using them as sh uh, shields and putting the elastic around here to go around their head and putting they have a plastic shield my daughter had one she said she bought it i think it must have come from china or something because she said it took her three weeks to get it but she still wear her mask underneath anyway she says it just keeps somebody from spitting in her face so Thought that was a good idea now this is the point too where i would want to press these now before i keep going on i know it's not any recommended doing the instructions to press but i like to press now before i put on the six round and then 
seven eight will be my little half square triangles here so i took i just pulled out one of each square because when you cut a square in half you're gonna get two so that's kind of what i did to start and i'll be adding more to those as i need them i didn't cut a whole lot i cut about 18 squares when i started or something when i started using squares but i want to press these before i trim up they got one more strip they grew some but not a whole lot i've been into this chat room <laughs> so let's see um joan says yes ties make it easier francine says t i admire you with that pineapple block i did complete the 20 blocks i was doing but have not put them together <laughs> yeah i i did that one pineapple quilt i started the second one where i had started on those four blocks where i had the black uh it's scrappy too but i had the black going around the outside um but since this came up i decided to go ahead and do this while they're doing it because otherwise i probably wouldn't do it so i'm using them as motivation so but thank you so much I don't like these blocks myself. Once I get through with these blocks, however many I make, I am never using this ruler again. <laughs> I'd rather use something that's already pre-cut to size. And since I got a die that does that, that's what I'll be using in the future. I do want to make other pineapple quilts because I think I'm, I'm hooked on pineapple quilts. I've always liked them, but they've been so cumbersome to make. So I got so many that I want to make, so many different kinds. I might end up having a lecture that's just pineapple quilts, okay? <laughs> and Joan says, I like the pleated ones to wear. Uh, Virgie says, if you don't have an AccuQuilt cutter like you, what method do you suggest using to make the pineapple blocks? I think this would be easier to do paper piecing at this point with all this cutting and squaring up. You can just go ahead and paper piece the block. You can make those up to eight inches that you can print out on your regular printer. Is what I would probably do if I didn't have AccuQuilt. And she says I could use it to match the fabric to the mask. Yes, I could. Mary says, why did you get the wood presser? So cool. You know, I get asked this and I have contacted this company twice. Once through email. I even called and left a message on their voicemail. And no one is calling me back. So... I'm thinking that while the, the times I was trying to call, it was during the COVID crisis. So I'm just trying to wait until like July and try to call them back and see if I can get more information about how people can get them. I was um, uh, hoping that they would uh, tell me what other products because I didn't see it on their website when I went on their website. But I know that they sell it. I know it's them because I uh, kept the business card. So that's kind of what's going on. The only other option I have is to go back and watch some of my old... Uh, I'm going to have to go back and watch some of my old videos when I've gone to Houston and Paducah. Because it's either one of those places. I want It's either Houston or Rosemount or Paducah show. One of those three shows is where I got it. And I go to a lot of shows every year, so... Uh, even, you know, including my local ones and even ones that I'll drive in two hours to go to a show, you know, because I try to support the guilds that hire me. I try to go back to their quilt shows as well. So, um, but I'm going to try to see if I can get it, get the information for you guys. And Kelly says she loves the wooden iron too. Some people use vellum instead of soda bottles. That's a good idea. Um, my friend Mary says, you mean Steph doesn't want a speed event? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, see, that girl probably a snap. Because <laughs> she doesn't, she don't have no patience. She'll probably snap, girl. Eric says, hey, I recognize that wood iron. Is that from Sawyer Creek? Yes, it is. But like I said, I've been contacting them and I haven't gotten any information. So I am going to try to do that. So my Brother saying good night, sis and everyone. Good night. We're gonna get off here. It's 1104. I'm trying to get through to the bottom. Uh, um Cheryl says I gave the Marty Michelle template. I have the Marty Michelle template for pineapples. It's so easy. 
Uh, and Eric says, I've never made a pineapple block. Now, ain't that something from Hawaii? <laughs> Elena says, good night, Miss T and all. Been having sinus issues, so I'm out of it. We'll have to catch the replay. Happy song. We're, do we're done, girl. You fixed it. There is a ruler for a pineapple block. There's a lot of rulers for pineapple blocks. You just got to figure out which one you want to use. So just Google uh, rulers for pineapple quilt block, and it should come up for you. Have some choices. You can also do that on YouTube. You might come up with some videos where they're showing you how to use it, which is what I would recommend so you can see if you like that particular style or not. So, yeah. So, that's it. People are telling you Creative Grids has two sizes of rulers. Um, somebody said Marty Michelle. This one is I, Eileen Fitzgerald. No, Guileen Fitzgerald. I'm sorry. Guileen Fitzgerald. This is Pineapple Tool. The Pineapple Tool. So there's uh, many, and there's going to be many other ones when you Google that. So um, take your pick. Go look at YouTube videos, see which one you like best. So this is going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. Um, <laughs> Eric, come on, he only like pineapple when it comes with a cocktail or cake. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go. See you all later. See you Wednesday for sure. And uh, stay blessed and stay safe, everybody. Got to lean in. <laughs>